Good morning guys, I've actually been up for a very long time, I've not just woken up like I'm not that lazy, um, basically I have been, well basically like I basically just want to say that I just kind of want to say that I've been trying really 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 hard to try and like sort my camera out so I can put the best content out there because my camera's like, and actually my camera's a an expensive bit of equipment but I just literally don't know how to use it properly and if I could use it properly then I could offer more and like my videos would be better because like I was watching some of my videos and like my lighting is awful it's doing my head in because basically what it is is like if I'm in the lounge or something and I'm filming in the evening I would like put my camera on and you'll see like now it will be like this but then as soon as I press the record button it will go dark so I've been trying for the longest time ever this morning to try and work out why it's doing that because it's absolutely driving me insane and it's just making me feel like I can't use my camera properly I just want to put like the best content I can out there and it's just stopping me from doing that because I just don't know how to like use my camera to its best ability and stuff so basically it's half 11 and I've been up since like nine o'clock and I've been looking all morning at YouTube videos on how to like like ex like sort the exposure out and like get the right settings for vlogging and just like make my camera the best like use it at the best it is sort of thing like make the most out of it because it's a really really good camera it's the Panasonic Lumix I'll link it down below and it's one of the best cameras for vlogging it's one of the best cameras but I just just don't know how to use it properly there's so many different settings on it and I just I've been using different ones and what annoys me is like the lighting and stuff like I said so like now I've got natural lighting but if I didn't have natural lighting there should be a setting on that my camera that will allow me to flick something and then it will bring it will make it more light and stuff and it makes because you don't see like vloggers in the lounge when they're filming late at night in pitch black because they've got light and even if they put the light on you can still see that whiteness and it makes it natural because there's a setting on their camera that they literally will just like switch and it will go on to something and I've been trying to do that for the longest time ever and I just cannot seem to work out to do it anyway this morning I've been looking for so 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 long I've been watching so so many videos and I think I have finally worked it out, so I think my camera is now at the best setting possible, let's hope. Um, but yeah, and then after that I've just jumped in the shower and I've just washed my hair, so that's why it's looking a bit of a hot mess. And now I've just popped some makeup on. And basically, um, a tweet out last night saying, please ask me some questions for a Q&A. Just because, like, I think it's always good to do vlogs, but I like you guys to, like, get to know me a bit better. And I just want to answer your questions and stuff. So I've got a few questions from... I did put some... So I'm going to start off on Instagram, because I did put some on Instagram as well. So I'm going to say your names as well, guys. So the next question is by Pearl is a goddess. Hi. Um, what made you go into YouTube and what's your take on it so far? Okay, so what made me go into YouTube basically was because when I was at school, I, well, pretty much, like, not just school, but, like, pretty much most of my life, but I've always been very, very self, like, I've always thought I wasn't, like, as good as other people and I've always thought that I wasn't good enough and I kind of just wanted to prove to myself that I am so yeah basically I started watching like loads of youtubers and vloggers and, and bloggers and things and I was just like oh you know I could I could really do that like I really like talking to people and I really want to help people and I just wanted to start YouTube because I wanted to like prove to myself that I'm worthy and like I can do something that I really want to do because it really does take guts to do stuff like this like put yourself out there and film and it takes a lot of time and like I've always wanted to do this and I've worked very very hard to get to like where I am and I just want to improve so much like saying to you what I said earlier like what I said earlier like when I said that I just want to put better content out for you guys and like make better videos and just like like improve my lighting and stuff so it's just stuff like that really it's just more like I really want to make better content and really want to make like better videos and I've always wanted to improve like 
everything I put out and also the reason I started YouTube was probably because when I first got diagnosed with my thyroid condition I kind of just closed off and I was just like not even being a human if that makes sense I just didn't want to do anything I didn't want to go to any parties I didn't want to put any dresses on I just didn't want to do anything and I just felt so so like not confident and I just thought right okay I want to prove to myself that I can be confident and I want to prove to myself that I can be like you know me and stuff because before my condition I was like a very bright and like funny and sort of person and my friends always thought so and then when I started getting my condition I started like becoming very moody and down and and then I lost a lot of friends through that and I feel like I miss them people very very much like I really do miss them people very very much but there's not really much I can do when you lose friends because I've lost them friends because like I was just so moody and down and nobody wanted to hang around with me so I just wanted to create videos and like create content like for people to watch and just enjoy because life is about enjoying yourself and life is about goals and achieving things because that's what it's all about if you want to achieve something you go for it because everyone's different and like when I first put my video out I never ever ever thought that I would do another one like I thought this is awful this is scary but I did it because it's what I want to do and pretty much why I started YouTube just because I wanted to create content for people and like make people happy and really express myself and like make friends and like just make a virtual family and I love like the digital side and I love online stuff and I love social media and just things like that so that's pretty much it. Next question is by Sabrina. What's the best and worst thing about doing YouTube? Probably like the best thing about doing YouTube is just like creating content and just like really putting myself out there and expressing myself and I love speaking to you guys and I love like helping and I love to I love to think that someone out there is enjoying it and someone's really getting some kind of help from it and taking it all in and like when I was 13, 14, I never ever thought I would cope through life and I always thought I was just like a little girl and I, I just lived in like, I lived in fairyland and I never realised how hard it is when you become an adult. So I just kind of want like, even if there's people out there that do have conditions or something along them lines and they want to do something with their life, they want to work online and they want to be a YouTuber or a blogger, I just want to kind of put myself out there and I create these videos because I want them guys to feel like they can do it and there's not one single person that can make you feel you can't do it, don't allow it because you are you and you're a special person, everybody's special. So. The best thing about probably like the best thing about doing YouTube is just like creating content and just like really putting myself out there and expressing myself and I love speaking to you guys and I love like helping and I love to I love to think that someone out there is enjoying it and someone's really getting some kind of help from it and taking it all in and like when I was 13 14 I never ever thought I would cope through life and I always thought I was just like a little girl and I, I just lived in like, I lived in fairyland and I never realised how hard it is when you become an adult. So I just kind of want, like, even if there's people out there that do have conditions or something along them lines and they want to do something with their life, they want to work online and they want to be a YouTuber or a blogger, I just want to kind of put myself out there and I create these videos because I want them guys to feel like they can do it and there's not one single person that can make you feel you can't do it don't allow it because you are you and you're a special person everybody's special so the best thing about doing YouTube is kind of just creating content I love filming I love editing I love uploading I love the whole kind of process of it and I just love where it's led like my blog and just everything like I love the whole social media and stuff and I just love how social media changed lately like how it's just like every person's beautiful no matter what you look like and no matter what your weight is I love all that and I love seeing that I follow a lot of youtubers and a lot of bloggers that are like that and I think that's the most amazing thing because a lot of people portray certain things as 
you have to be this to be a YouTuber, you have to be look like this to be a YouTuber, you have to do this, you, you won't get anywhere, etc. But if you put the work into it, and you really, really work hard, and you believe in yourself, there's no reason why you can't do it. It doesn't matter, because you're doing what you want to do, so that's why the best thing about YouTube is pretty much doing what the hell you want, speaking what you want, like do, helping people, and like knowing that you will possibly impact someone's life for the for the better and stuff so that's the best thing the worst thing about the worst thing about youtube if you're out vlogging and your camera dies like it's all about having a camera and having a phone to film and if you can't film the moments it pisses you off because you're like damn i've missed that amazing moment just because my camera died and i'm probably the worst youtuber out there because my camera's always dead like i put it on charge overnight now but before i was terrible like I was terrible and now I just want to be consistent upload daily vlogs every single day and just put the best content out for you guys and just really work on my camera settings <laughs> so that's probably the answer to that question Anna underscore 413 um, has asked how's Nala so Nala's doing really really good guys really good I'm so so happy to like see her like this now but basically she if you guys don't know and you haven't seen my vlogs before she was basically um diagnosed with like separation anxiety but a very very severe separation anxiety and she has always struggled with it um since we got her when we first got her we put her in a crate on the first night and she absolutely kicked a stink up so i took her out of her crate and i regret that very much because now she's just like if i cry i'll come out of my crate but now she sleeps upstairs with us um, because she's on these tablets, like the doctors, her, the vet, doctor, the vet's given her these um, separation anxiety pills. She's also on this stuff like tonic water that she has. I'll show you guys when we go downstairs what she's on. And she has this stuff, and it's completely helped her so so much. Um, also, I'm like working with a trainer and stuff. I'm working with a trainer, and we're doing like frozen peanut in Kongs and just things like that. And now that I'm like home all the time with her. Um, it's a lot lot easier because sometimes dogs just literally do need to be with with their mummies <laughs> but yeah she's like she is obsessed with us but we are starting to like make sure that she's got her own space and she's doing her own thing now so yeah Nala's doing really really well and it means so so much to me to ask like if you guys asking really does so yeah I will definitely probably do an update video on Nala but um I'll come and show you her now let's go downstairs Hi Snuggy. And then we'll go see Nala guys. Liam, has my pop socket arrived? My post. Hi, hey, hey, baby. Someone did ask a question about you. How's Nala? How's Nala doing? Look at her gripping on me. Liam. Grips around my wrist like I want you. Hello Bubba. Nom, nom, nom. Kisses. kisses, 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 kisses. Hi guys, I don't know what happened, but when I just tried to edit that video, it turns out that half of the questions that I answered, the footage has disappeared. That's the worst thing about being a YouTuber, <laughs> is when you film and your footage just randomly disappears. So I do apologise, but I'm going to do it now. So, first question is by Kately Rooney. What are your cats called? I have a Persian called Coco, and my name is Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. I hope you're okay. Um, so, my cats are called Snugs and Cindy. Snugs is just a moggy. I think she's just like a moggy tuxedo cat, I call her. She's got tuxedo. And Cindy is a tabby. Just a, t a tabby. Snugs is nearly 11 months old and Cindy is nearly 5 months old so she's a baby and Coco is the most beautiful name ever and I love Persian cats I think they're so so sweet um, Darcy has asked Darcy XOXO1 if someone bullied you how would you respond to it? I wouldn't 
I would not respond to it. If someone put hate on my channel or Instagram, I would not respond to it because I feel like if you respond to being bullied or you respond to someone saying something about you, it's exactly what they want. They want a reaction out of you, so just don't respond to it. Just don't, just literally, I just would not respond to it. I just feel like if you respond to it, you're just like giving them what they want, so I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't respond. Um, J underscore Chuletta, if you could learn any new skill, what would it be? Probably, I would probably want to learn how to use Photoshop. And I know that sounds really silly, but I would love to use Photoshop to ability where, like, because I do a lot of thumbnails for my videos, I use, um... Pixar on my phone and I would absolutely love to understand Photoshop and like do a course on Photoshop or something where I can actually like make really really good thumbnails I would love to learn how to where you say if I was like like that I would love to be able to like cut myself out and then put a glow around it and then stick it on a background and then put emojis and, and text everywhere so yeah I probably would love to like do a Photoshop course um, and the skill would be just to be an amazing editor on amazing editor and like just an amazing vlogger pretty much <laughs> and drive I can drive I failed my test go and check my video out I failed my test but I can drive so don't worry I will pass next time so that's probably the skills so yeah that's all of the questions guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and smash a big thumbs up if you did make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i am just waiting for liam to bring me some food i feel sick i'm that hungry also guys please let me know like what do you think i should do with my hair do you think i should cut it or should i keep it long it's short a bit like that for the summer or do you think i should just keep it long um let me know, guys. I really want to know. Because I can't decide. Nala, do you want to say bye? Hey. Oi. Oi. <laughs> hey, little baby girl. Yum. You've just had your breakfast and your lunch. So, yeah, smash a big thumbs up if you... Ow! She just stood on my hair. Maybe I should cut it short. <laughs> Smash a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out my previous videos and follow my social medias because I'm very, very active on there. And I definitely will be doing a Q&A again, so keep an eye on Twitter and Instagram. And I love you all very much and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys.